Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to find and see archive posts on Instagram. Let's launch the Instagram app. I want you to click on the lower right corner and click on your profile picture. Then I want you to click on the three straight lines on the top right corner. When you're at the menu, I want you to pick the section that is called your activity. Then I want you to scroll down to the section removed and archived content. I want you to click on the second option archived. Here you will find every post that you previously archived. This section will simply show you all the reels, all the pictures, all the videos, all the IGTV previous posts, uh, all the highlights that you archived. So essentially any piece of content that you upload in any shape, form or size and then archived will simply be here. Let's say we want to download this reel over here with the lady, okay? All we gotta do is to click on the three dots on the upper right on top of the video and then you want to click on the link button, okay? We just copy the link from this video on our clipboard. The second step is even easier. I want you to go on Google Chrome and find this website over here. It's called publer.io, okay? When you click on the website, all you gotta do is simply to paste the link that we just copied, click download, wait a couple of seconds, and boom! The video will appear over here. The app has no ads, no watermarks, and no registration required. All you gotta do is to click download and you have the video already in your account. And then let's click on the upper right corner so we can launch our messages so we can find out who messages and how we can actually proceed. So guys, unfortunately, with the recent updates, things have become a little more complicated. If you look left and right, you're not going to find any delete button. You're not going to find any option for you to delete your messages. Okay. What I want you to do is I want you to hold on the message that you want to delete and I want you to swipe on the left you're going to start seeing buttons. The first button will be on red, then it's going to be general, and then you're going to swipe, and there's going to be another option, which it says more, okay? Now, click on more. Here you will find an option, essentially, to click delete. Okay? When you click delete, permanently will delete your chat. This means that neither you or them will be able to go back on this chat. This chat simply got deleted and it, would, it will disappear. This is how people usually delete their chats and then they go and block the other account. If you want to block someone and delete the messages, this is how you want to go about it. Then you want to click on the top right corner where you see the three straight lines. You click on three straight lines and then you want to click on settings and privacy. When you're on settings and privacy, you want to scroll down a little to the section that is called who can see your content. This is very, very important. Why? Because here you will find the option that it says blocked. When you click on blocked, you will find all the accounts that you block from your Instagram page. This is where you can actually click unblock individually and simply scroll through the list of all the accounts. Uh, I wish they had an option where you can actually go and search. As you can see over here, the plus sign. Uh, I don't have so many people blocked, but if you have like tons of people blocked and you know you met someone that you blocked like a couple of years ago and you want to reestablish the, the relationship, the connection, the friendship, right? You can click on the plus sign, click here on the search bar and simply look for the person. This is also very helpful, otherwise you just had to scroll <laughs> and if you have like thousands of people, if you have your account created 5-10 years ago, right? You will have a bunch of scrolling doing. So this is how we can go about it. The other option, of course, will be to simply go on the actual Instagram feed. You going to click on the second option, where is the magnifying glass. And then you will go on the search bar and probably look for the person. When you find the person from here, you will have its account and you will have the option to unblock it from the account straight up. There are two ways to do it. You can repost it as a post and this is how you're gonna go about it if you just want to repost it as a post you want to click on the story that you like and then you want to click on the paper airplane on the lower right corner 
When you click on the paper airplane, you will have an option over here, it says share. When you click on the share, you will be able to share this on your own Instagram as a post. But let's presume you want to share this on your own story, right? So the way how we're going to go about it is you have to simply screenshot this one. You have to come over here. You have to crop the unnecessary part. You want to save the changes. Then you want to go back. You want to create your brand new story. You want to pick up the image, resize the image with your fingers by simply zooming out and you click your story. This is how you're going to share someone else's story on your story feed. And this is how you're going to share someone else's story as a post as well. For example, let's say we want to download, maybe not this video. Let's say we want to download this video over here. Okay. Click on the three dots on the top right corner of the video. Then you want to click on the link button, which is situated on the upper right, the second button. We just copy the link on our clipboard. Now let's move to the easier step, which is number two. Go ahead on Google Chrome and look for this app over here. It's called Publer.io. You want to click on this. <clears throat> when you're at Publer.io, I want you to paste the link and click download. This is how simple it is. Why this app is, is preferable? Well, as you can see over here, no ads, no watermarks, no registration. You have two options after you, the video is downloaded over here. You can either download it or you can simply post it. I haven't used the post function. You can simply download it and then go ahead and, and do whatever you'd like with the video. Okay. This is how simple it is to download Instagram Reels for free. Then you want to click on the middle at the lower side of the menu settings. You click on the plus sign and then let's select the double square beneath the photo right over here then you want to click on image number one exposing the shirt image number two Ex this is how we're gonna go about it this is how you're gonna select multiple images i can select many more images if i want to after you select the images that you want to upload then you press on the top right corner where it says next then you will have this amazing new function which is the note sign on the top middle side of the settings you click on the note icon and there you have it you have all the currently popular songs we have a for you page with recommendations and you can also browse through the different genres you can have for birthday celebrations you know romantic r&b so pop hip hop whatever you'd like to then very important over here is that you can simply press next and you can add the location you can just post as usual and simply proceed with additional hashtags and metadata if you by any reason decide to change your particular song right before posting you can do so from the following menu you don't have to go back you have the option to change the song from here and everything will simply work fine then you want to click on the lower right corner and click on your profile picture then i want you to go ahead and click on the three straight lines on the top right then I want you to click on settings and privacy. The first option that you want to do right here will simply be account center. When you're at account center, I want you to click on logging in with accounts. So when you click on logging in with accounts, you will have a list of accounts that you previously linked to. Here you will have a Facebook page that is linked to this account. You will have probably Facebook account that is linked with this particular Instagram page and you will have other Instagram pages as well. So essentially here you can click individually one by one and you can click unlink, unlink, unlink. I don't have other Instagram pages, but essentially this is where you originally added accounts where you see add accounts and then you can simply unlink them. Then you want to click on the lower right corner and hit on the profile. Okay. Then you want to hit on the top right corner and click on the three straight lines. Now, when you're on the settings menu, I want you to click on the third option, which is schedule content. When you click on schedule content, now we have the option to schedule a brand new post. 
you want to click on schedule now let's select the post this is what we're going to schedule you can actually select the multiple images multiple posts by simply clicking on the double square for pictures or videos whatever you like when you are ready with a single post in our case you can press next and then you can press next if you're ready you can add more music over here not gonna do that you can press next and then you have a very small interesting option over here which is essentially schedule the post not posting it if you click advanced settings you can click over here and you can click schedule this post when you do this you can schedule the timing you can schedule the date you can schedule the am or the pm and then you can simply click done and there you have it your post will be scheduled for posting at this time at this day then you want to grow on your profile bunch of posts let's say for example we want to archive this one over here you want to click on the three dots on the top and you want to click on the third option which says archive you click archive and there you have it the post is no longer on the actual feed as you can see the post was number one the post is no longer here let's say you did a mistake let's say you like this video you want to get this video back and you want to unarchive this video how are you going to go about it well it is not so complicated but i would say it it is very very slim because if you go back to the three dots on the top right corner and then when you click on archive the fifth option over here you have three options the default option will be this and when you go here you're not gonna find what you just archived because it is a post it is not a story also you have live archives live videos that you publish or you went live right so this is why this is the slim part like i mentioned you have to go on the actual type of content that you archived in our case we have two videos this is the first one we actually archived so let me show you how we are going to unarchive this video we're going to click on the three dots on the top and then you're going to click on show on profile boom the video is no longer archived the view is no longer inside the archive we have one more video i don't know when and why i did actually archive this one again three dots on the top and then show on profile boom we have no longer posts on archive very simple very easy then i want you to click on the lower right corner on your profile picture then i want you to hit the top right corner and click on the three straight lines now i want you to scroll down to the section your activity is the fourth option i want you to click on it then when you're on your activity you want to scroll down to removed and archived content i want you to click on recently deleted and here you will find all the deleted posts, all the deleted stories, IGTV, all the deleted videos and reels, including highlights on your own profile. Everything will be over here and you will simply be able to click on it and restore the content. Very easy, very simple. So basically in this video, what I'm going to be doing is uh, we're going to be talking about Synthesia in a very quick way. So Synthesia is basically a generation platform where you can create an AI video using these AI models over here uh, and some texts, okay? And it's totally free, no credit card required. Just sign up with their page and uh, they give you 140 plus avatars, 120 plus uh, languages and accents and 60 plus pre-designed templates. You can also create your own avatar, but that does take some cost. But yeah, this is how it's going to look. They're going to give you a standard avatar. You can add videos over it, and then you can also add text prompts under it. So, Synthesia.io, use it right now and get the best free video AI generations. So, you can upload images where you can ask it questions regarding this image. So, let's say I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to upload this image of a bun, and I'm going to write, What is this? Okay, I'm going to write that. I'm going to click on enter. Now, once you write that and you ask, what is this? We're going to wait for it to search up and it's going to give us an explanation on what this image contains. So it says, you know, I cannot access and process the image. Obviously, if the image is a bit blur or if you don't provide the image's link, it might do some mishaps, but it will generally tell you what the image is. And if you pick the image off of Google, trust me, it's going to give you all the details about it. Like you can pick up any image from Google images and you're going to get the data you want. 
So that is basically Google Bard AI, and that is how we're going to use it for ourselves. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do make sure to drop down a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make more for you. Till then, that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll see all of you in the next video. Goodbye. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Bing Image Creator. This is very, very interesting, guys. Very useful. You will be able to create amazing designs, as you can see over here. These particular images are simply powered by DALI 3, which, as you may have guessed, is extremely powerful. Very important. First thing you want to click over here, join and create. You want to create in, after you sign in, right, with your account. In our example over here, guys, we are going to create something unique. We are going to create a city in the middle of the ocean. That is looking like new york city well guys now we are waiting to see what will be the result over here very very interesting you know it is it is easy to use you don't have to have a specific particular knowledge or you don't have to be a designer or or creator you can just use your imagination it usually takes uh, a while but it depends on the traffic depends how many people are using it if you can see over here what uh, has been given here as an idea as an inspiration if you can see there is uh, an astronaut right that is not actually in the space it looks like he's floating somewhere else uh okay oh wow just look at this look at what we created over here guys if you click on, on one of these images right you're gonna essentially have this amazing amazing creation so guys what we can do this first of all you can click share right you can share this uh to a website you can share you can copy the link you can uh you know put the link inside your blog post you can come over here on the plus sign that you see over here you can essentially save this into your images because you have a collection right usually people create collections or you can click on the three dots over here and simply click download is simply uh, unbelievable as you can see the quality of it is saved in 262 kilobytes so it is not a large uh, format right so you click over here you click download and then you simply download it okay this is how simple it is so if you look at the other images so if we close down we can look at wow well, look at this image guys this is simply unbelievable Just think about how you can utilize this in your own, you know, world. Just, you see, we have a two uh, stages of liberty, right? You have multiple crossing bridges. It's absolutely stunning. And this has just been generated and created from, uh, like I said, just one simple prompt. Look at this. So guys, this is how simple it is. If you want to change something, right? You can click on the text underneath and you can essentially add to your previous prompt. For example, uh, you know, if you, if you want to come over here, you can simply create and you can add more to the items. The more important part over here is that uh, you have this uh, small uh, lightning on the side. Uh, so this might essentially means that creating images more quickly with boost that will essentially help you to speed up the whole process. Right? This is kind of an upgrade. So uh, essentially you can utilize many, many functions, but this is simply mind blowing guys. For more tips and tricks like this, subscribe and come back for more. Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the Magic Media Studio and how you can utilize different projects by simply using the AI image generator from Canva. All you gotta do is to come over here on the apps inside the Canva app, and then you wanna scroll down and look for different apps that are currently trending you can find something that you like you can find something new you can find something that is recommended from the app itself but we are going to look for magic media we're going to use magic media because this is the proprietary and it's uh, 
very very fast it works easily you will be able to understand exactly how you can generate images logos and other projects so when you come over here you want to use a brand new design if you don't have an existing one that you want to change when you click create a new design we're going to use the ai image generator to create uh, some new social media post so previously we did some logos we did some uh, you know small adjustments but as you can see over here you can create a t-shirt design right you can sell something we have a desktop wallpaper so for example if we want to create a desktop wallpaper this simply will change the ratio the ratio of our image so the way how the magic media works is that you will have this window where you're going to input your prompt and then if you scroll down you can essentially change the layout or the filter or the style of which uh, will apply to your image also if you want to change the aspect ratio to a landscape in our example simply because it will be a wallpaper right you can do it so create a Hawaii vibe uh, place uh, with infrastructure like New York City make the beach in the middle of the city around times square okay let's see <laughs> let's see how this crazy image would look like guys but essentially this is how it works so you're going to get like a four different versions of this image generated from the ai and you can pick which one you like uh, if you don't like any of it or you you want to change something right you can simply uh, scroll down and you will have an option like for example i can come over here and we can continue our prompt we can include more stuff as we like to right we can add more details and we can click generate again this will give us another example if i click on one of the images and simply make it larger this is one of the benefits of ai you probably wonder what is it the benefit is that even if you make an image large this will not ruin the quality because this is not a jpeg right this is why this is so good and this is why we we really like it so essentially this is how nice and if i zoom in you could see that this looks awesome right can you imagine this really to, to be true <laughs> we have this crazy crazy beach it reminds me of chicago to be honest with you guys but this is how you can create a wallpaper using magic media on canva ai for more tips like this guys subscribe and like this video hi guys in today's video i'm going to show you how to use ai image generator on canva very easy guys very simple the first thing i want to do is come over here at the canva.com you want to stay on the home page and when you're over here you want to click on the upper left side of the screen where you see the three straight lines this will launch additional menu and then you're going to click on the apps then you want to click on discover apps so you want to make sure you browse all the apps over here so the first thing that we're going to focus is we're going to actually look for the uh, canvas own proprietary technology app which will be magic medium so in this example we are going to utilize magic medium this is the first icon over here in this example we are going to use the ai image generator of canvas ai we are going to create a brand new design and as you can see over here you have a like a pre-made templates for anything that you want to create so for example if you want to create a story if you want to create a logo if you want to create a email newsletter presentation anything is here guys so for example if you want to create a instagram post you have the square option over here in our example we are going to create a logo and the way how this actually works is that when you come over here you have to type a particular prompt 
when you type the prompt you also have to choose underneath the style of the prompt so in our example we are going to create uh, New York City uh, in the space with flying cars and uh, what else what else and like a connecting roads in the space to other uh planets okay guys so we we pick this one and we're going to select our style you can you can just pick something else right you don't have to be uh, some of these styles but you can collect all of these styles these styles will change the way how the image actually looks like after it's generated i don't like any of it you can also have the option c also you can pick more styles but i want to see how the city will look like without the, the actual filter on top so as you can see now the ai generates the image based on our prompt uh, usually works uh, pretty fast as you can see now we're, we're having the first image already generated and it looks very very cool the second one oh look at yeah i think i think this is very very nice so if you click on the image itself you will see the best thing about AI is that even if you adjust the size of it, right, it's still going to look very, very cool. It's not going to reduce the quality as the usual JPEG that you will have. I want you to remember this. Now, if you click on the upper side, you can essentially copy. Uh, you can paste elements on top of it like a usual Canva project. Uh, remember, this is something that will, will find its, its, its shape and its form, right? so this is how you change the current aspect ratio and then you can essentially go back or you can create another file over here and create a mockup for uh, let's say a collage right let's go back and let's see how the other images actually look because the main idea was that when you actually utilize canva magic uh, uh media right this is just one tool remember it is very important for you to know exactly what you want to create and to input as many details as possible the more details you input inside the prompt the better the output and the results will be for more tips like this guys subscribe and like this video Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to use AI image generator inside the Canva app. In the previous videos we went through animation apps, we went through DALI, we went through Magic Studio. You want to make sure you watch these videos guys so you understand how to use these apps, what kind of results we got. In this example over here guys I'm going to go through Imagen. So this is uh, essentially based on AI software coming from Google. Uh, very very interesting i have a huge hopes about this i read a good things about it so let's jump in the first thing that you want to choose is are you going to create something from scratch like we are planning to do or you have existing project in canva app that you can import and start working on it in our case we're going to choose a brand new project and we're going to create i would say uh I would say something nice, photo wallpaper, this sounds cool. Okay, so as you can see over here, turn your text into photorealistic AI, a beautiful oil painting of Bergen. You see what are the results. So let's dive into the prompt itself. Create a painting of Monte Carlo. during the winter let's see what we're going to get guys 
So Google Imaging will simply give you only two variations. DALI will give you two variations. Uh, the Magic Studio will give you four variations. So the result content does not meet our policy. What is the policy? I don't know. Oil painting of Monaco. Another try. We didn't use any brand, right, guys? We just used the name of the city, Monte Carlo. They, they thought we were probably talking about the casino Monte Carlo. <laughs> Okay, guys, we do have some results over here. Wow, look at this one. Let me type for you. So you can always make these pictures larger by simply dragging the corners. I don't like the, the ratio of the template, right? We have to move it on the side so we'll be able to see, but I think it's so pretty, guys. It's so beautiful. Do you see all the details of Monte Carlo? It's beautiful, all the, the marina and everything just think about now if you have like some of these crazy printers that can print like the actual materials right they can print with with particular like uh like a pronounced design that it could be like you can touch the whole difference in the buildings right it's amazing this is how you can use imaging from google guys i think this is my second favorite the first one still remains to be magic studio from canva ai for more videos like this guys, subscribe and like this video.